Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 51 of this awesome, amazing Osu Let's Play series. In the last episode, we talked about hyper focusing on your weaknesses and what exactly that means. And in this episode, we are switching over to the new Osu client known as Osu Laser. If you couldn't already tell, the menu looks a little different. My cursor is no longer the whale, it is this awesome menu cursor. And in this episode, I want to mostly talk about what exactly Laser is and show off some cool features that I think are very useful and also don't exactly exist in the stable client. So I definitely will not be able to get into everything that Laser has to offer in one episode, and probably not even 50, to be honest, but I will do my best to eventually show you guys everything that this client has to offer and also show you guys some new updates as those come out. But before we get into any actual explanations, I would like to shout out as usual that I live stream every single day over at twitch.tv, so that will be linked in the description. But if you want to hang out with me, ask me questions, or watch me play this game live, anything like that, I would be more than happy to have you stop by, say hello. And also, bonus points, if you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, we'll be very, very happy to see you there. So with that said, what is Osu Laser? So there was a blog post made by Pepe, who is the lead developer, main developer of this game. And he made a blog post exactly two years ago, actually, October 21st, 2019. And it is titled, A Definitive Osu Laser FAQ. This blog post will be linked in the description. I really, really heavily advise you read through it, especially if you're interested in Osu Laser or want to form an opinion about Osu Laser. It's very important to actually know what it is and some, I guess, baseline knowledge. So. I'm not going to read through this whole blog post because it is fairly long, but I do want to read off the definition of laser that is given in this blog post because I think the wording does a very good job. So it says, what is Osu Laser? Is Osu Laser a new game or an update? And the answer is, Laser is just a code name for the development project. When we're done, Laser will become Osu and be released as an update for the existing client. It will migrate all existing user content and work on pretty much any system which Osu Stable could run on. So basically, Laser is just the name of the project of like the new big Osu update where a bunch of features and I think the defining characteristic of Laser or Osu Laser is that it is a complete rewrite of the game from the ground up. And it is very, very exhaustive in its being from the ground up there's like a whole new like code framework and it's just i would recommend you look into it especially if you're interested in the development side of osu but basically okay i'm going to tell you guys a little story before we get into the client so the year was 2007 or maybe even 2006 i don't know the, the year was a long time ago and this guy named Pepe, he played this ds game called os tatake Oandan, and he was like, wow, this game's so awesome, but I want to be able to make my own songs. And so he, so the legend has it that he wrote the first working build of Osu in one all-nighter. And then Osu was born. And since then, long story short, many more players have come into the game and development has been made, you know, a community around the game and lots more features have been being wanted. And so Pepe was like, all right, you know what, Osu, very awesome. I'm going to add all these awesome features and redesign. I got a team of really, really skilled, um, you know, designers and things like that. Shout out to Flight, by the way. Flight, it's an incredible designer. But um, yeah, so Pepe was like, all right, let's add a bunch of awesome features to the game and have an awesome. So it was called Osu Next. It was basically the name of the redesign of Osu. And uh, 2015 came and went and in that year it was teased that a new update would come to osu and eventually what happened and this was also detailed in the blog post but Pepe realized that his code for the original osu client is not sustainable for the kind of growth that they were looking for with the game and so they were like all right let's rewrite all of it from scratch and we're going to make it so good and so what's another word for good it's so good that it is, it's just gonna last forever it's just incredible code for the game just ground up as perfect as possible and that project of rewriting the game from scratch is what's known as osu laser so hopefully that's a fairly clear explanation and 
Again, please, please look at the blog post that's linked in the description. Um, pause the video now, please. Everyone, literally, okay, if you even made it this far into the video, just pause the video and read the blog post. But yes, with that said, I do want to show off a couple very, okay, so, you know, let's just, let's just take a tour, all right? Let's take a tour around the client. So, it was a cookie, click on it. Oh, I actually forgot. Okay, so I think a couple of weeks or months ago, there was a sound effect like rework, basically. The sound effects in this client are so good. It's so good. So it's, okay, anyway. <laughs> so click on the main menu and the, this looks a little different, obviously. Um, there's a bar on the top that this is actually just in, incredible. Okay, it, I, I feel like I'm just simping for the OC Laser client, but this is so good. Okay, so up at the top, so settings, which is also, you can go there from here, or as usual, or at, just like the stable client, if you press control O, that will also open it. And that hockey is also written right here as well. So this button is the home button, and it takes you back to this page, no matter where you are uh, in the OC client. Even if you're in the middle of a map, you press alt and home, which is a hotkey written there, that will just jump you straight here. It's very, very smooth and responsive. Client, I cannot emphasize that enough, but okay, anyway. So the four game modes up here. So these are the game mode toggles, and you can also toggle them in the actual song list, just like you would in Osu Stable. Wait, actually, can you? Well, okay. Anyway, you, you can change the game mode from here, or um, there are hotkeys for them, which actually is not written here. But you press Control One through Control Four, and okay, actually the sound effects for the like changing game modes is actually really really cool. So I'm just gonna stop talking and and let you listen to them. Okay, so I, you can't, I, I already had OC standard selected, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay, just, uh, sound effects are so good. Okay, anyway, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to try to get, get through all these buttons because I think they're all very, very nice to know. So this takes you to the oh, loved, project loved. Oh, shoot, it, it opened in a, in my browser, but project loved voting is out. You guys should vote, but anyway, <laughs> this takes you to the news section of the website. And okay, another very, very like I think distinctive characteristic of a laser also is that a lot of stuff that you typically would have to go to the browser is now integrated directly into the client. And it is just insane, actually insane. So the news post, for example, or the news page. So this is a page that you can also access through the OSU website along with pretty much everything else that's here. But the fact that it's just built into the client is actually really, really nice. I think for a lot of people who struggle with like like tabbing in and out of programs on like lower end computers, things like that. But anyway, change log. This is um, obviously the change log, and you can see the. So you can click on the different versions here to see the change log for each specific build of the game. Hey, it's Peppy. Let's go. What's up, man? <laughs> and then uh, yeah, so laser obviously, and you can go through. Oh wait, wait, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, yeah. So you can go through all the updates here, and you can also see who exactly implemented these updates as well. So OSU Laser is open source, and if you are interested in, de in developing at least even one part of Laser, then definitely I would say give it a look. Go to the GitHub, OSU GitHub, um, which slash PPY slash OSU, which also is on the screen right now, but I'll have that linked in the description. But yes, moving on. So rankings, this is probably a familiar page to you guys. Uh, I used to camp this page all the, especially when I was a new player, I would just camp the rankings page. It was like the default tab that I had open. <laughs> I would just like look through the top 50 and just like, all right, what's new, what's new? Who gained one PP? Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, the so beatmap listing, and there's a hotkey for this, control D, it also says right there. But this also pretty self-explanatory. I've shown this off, uh, oh, I don't remember what episode it was. Um, but anyway, I've shown this up in one of the earlier episodes, but uh, it's very, you know, the fact that it's just in the client is incredible. Control D, you just, you just go there. It's insane. <laughs> so F8 takes you to the chat and there's also a laser only like global channel, um, you know, laser discussion, things like that. Very awesome. Let's go. Um, so that is that dashboard. And this is the friend list thingy. Uh, pretty much, uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so be your friends. This, this shows the friends that you have that are online. And then this page is also on the website, by the way. But there's a couple other modes in which you can view, you can view their banners or <laughs> squink. Wait, squink? Wait, let's go. Look at this banner. <laughs> let's go squink. Yeah, anyway, anyway. Oh, and I think if you want to go back, as far as I'm aware, you can probably press escape or you can also just click on the side. But you can also see a grid view, <clears throat> grid view, very minimalist version of your friend list. Um, and it 
does its best to load the banners, but okay, anyway. Uh, that is, that's, oh wait, currently playing, wait, what is, oh wait, I don't even know what this is. Oh, oh, wait, that's very interesting. So if, if they're online, then you can see, uh, oh wait, wait, this is, this is not even people on my friend list. This is just people that are online, I, th I think. Okay, that is, I did not know that existed, but that is, uh, that is very cool. Okay, the uh, so wiki, okay, the most underrated part of the, of, of OSU, in general, the OSU website, it's just, just knowledge, just, just insane knowledge books, the Lamborghini. Okay, this is actually a really, really cool part of the OSU, uh, the OSU client. So OSU Stable has this also. So there's this icon, it's called a hamburger icon, and hamburger menu in the top corner of the OSU Stable client. And it is basically a music player, and it is just that much more integrated in OSU Laser. There's an actual you know thingy for it, and you can pretend to drag it around, but it always snaps back to the same place. And if you open this menu, you can use, okay, so I don't have any collections right now, but you can use a collection as a playlist and you can actually scroll through them, unlike um, in the stable client. So very, very cool. It just shows you all your maps that you have downloaded, which for me is not actually that many. And you can also change the order as well. So, you know, make your real playlist. Actually, I don't, I don't know if that like changes the way. Let me actually test if I like drag it up there. Oh, okay, it actually saves. Okay, that's very cool. So. Yes, no, you know, goodbye Spotify. Spotify Premium costs money, OC Laser does not. So <laughs> this is your notification page, so pretty self-explanatory. This will show when you get a message or when you've downloaded a game or, or a, a map, or if there's a new update or anything like that, if your game runs into a problem, anything like that, or if you're downloading a skin, importing a skin, pretty much anything. Notifications, they all go there. So, and then as usual, or as usual you can view your own profile and okay transferring avatar a little still some optimizations obviously to do but um yes you can see your own profile and you can also change your status do not disturb mode incredible and you can also go invisible but is that is that okay so for this episode i'm only going to go through the song list and show you guys some of the actual gameplay but there's also, oh, browse, okay, but this is also just the beatmap listing. Um, because that's a pretty quick explanation, but there's the editor, the, okay, the OSU editor, um, OSU laser editor is actually very, very cool. So, and it, it is still being worked on, but it is already just incredible. So, uh, yes, okay, actually, I wonder, I don't even know, does the P hockey work? Let's see. Oh my god, it does. Ooh, let's go. Okay, yeah, it actually does. Oh, shit, it's loud. Oh, so one thing is, um, Okay, as usual, just like the stable client, hold Alt and then you can control the volume and you can also put your mouse over it. But scrolling in OSU Laser does increments of one, whereas using the arrow keys. Oh, wait, wait, what? Wait, I thought arrow keys did increments of five. Wait, what am I thinking of? Is, I, I, there was something that I tried changing the volume with and it did increments of five. Ah, uh, okay, I, I, you know, I don't remember. But okay, anyway, oh, I know what it was in, in the actual options. Um, wait, I'm pretty sure it was this. <gasps> Wait, no, okay, Eric is, okay, uh, th there's something that changes it in increments of five, I don't remember, but yeah, anyway, uh, okay, that, that's a bit odd. Um, okay, so, oh, okay, no, no, so you can't change the game mode from the bottom corner, but it is, honestly, I think this is a better spot for it anyway, but, okay, the mods in, okay, so for one, these are the icons that you're probably familiar with from the OSU website, these are the redesigned um, mod icons, and I'm sure they'll be skinnable in the future, I'm pretty sure, but, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll be skinnable, but dude, there's so many, so many mods. Okay, so basically with OC being open source, there's all these like fun mods that like you can literally just make a mod if you want and just get it added to the game if it's like, you know, working properly. So this one I'm pretty sure is very uh, new. I'm pretty sure it was it just added a couple of days ago. So <clears throat> just for context, in case you guys are watching this in the far future, but um, yes, and it'll also show you. so. On the stable client, the, the typical OSU client, there are some mods that are not compatible with others. So if you try, so let's say I have no fail on, then if I try turning on sudden death, then it's gonna deselect no fail. And on this client, it actually shows you exactly which mods are incompatible with each other. So, and there's even an icon here as well. So that's very, very cool. Deselect as usual. And then there's actually, wait, you can customize sudden death. What? Oh wait, that's actually awesome. Okay, so. Yeah, so there's a customization. Okay, so I think one of the biggest things with the OS laser client with mods is customizing. So double time, for example, is known for speeding up the map and you can actually adjust exactly how sped up you want the map to be. 
And as usual, so this yellow bar is a, a universal pretty much icon in the, in the OSU client as a whole, even in uh, stable. And if you click on it, it will revert that setting to the default one. So yes, one mod that I really want to show off is the actual difficulty adjust mod. And this is actually just, just simply incredible, just awesome. And okay, the, the, you can even just, okay, let's, so let's say it maxes out at AR10. But no, actually, it maxes out at 11. Just look at, look at the, who, who would do this? OK, but anyway, um, very, very cool difficulty adjust mod, I think, is very, very helpful. I think, personally, I tend to suggest people like practice specific skills by, like, let's say you want to get better at small CS, then you should edit maps to you know CS7 or something like that. But now you can just drag this slider, and it'll automatically, no matter what map you have selected, you will have CS8 on. So I'm pretty sure, yeah. So if I go here, the so this is the map stats. You can see the star rating, um, this icon that is also colored and is also here as well. And okay, this is actually really cool. You can see there's like a slight color difference showing like the star rating with no mod versus like how much of it got increased from whatever difficulty settings you have on. So if I press, wait, I'm pretty sure the, okay, the one key, so just like the stable client is the hotkey to deselect all mods. And so I'm sure, oh, wait, what? Wait, what is the two button? Oh, wait, shoot. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, actually, okay, I'm pretty sure two is probably close. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that's probably what that is. But okay, anyway, um, a lot of very cool things. Okay, so let's, okay, let's take a look at, at actual gameplay. I think, I think it's time. I think it's time to actually play a map. Uh, how long have I been recording? Okay, you know, not that bad, not that bad. <laughs> okay, so, oh, wait, actually, I have difficulty adjust on, but no actual customization. So let me just turn that off. Okay, so awesome. Okay, so oh, oh shoot. So okay, I, I'm gonna try to show you guys specifically like things that are new. Oh, I, I'm trying to pause. I'm, I'm pressing escape, trying to pause. But okay, anyway. So one thing that's very new or new to the laser client that I think is awesome is background blur. So typically there's only background dim, but I think background blur is actually really really nice because then you can have like a subtle like background that's not intrusive, but and also, while you're customizing these settings, then the map will not start for you. All right. Oh, yeah. You can see, for example, ooh, whoa, crazy. OK, um, this is at 50. It's not the default settings. And then 90 as well. OK, so personally, I am probably going to stick with these options because, oh, what? It's started. Oh, shoot. Uh, OK, well, um, wait. Okay, yeah. the rest of this is, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. Although, a disable mouse buttons is something that you typically only control by pressing um, F. Pen. Oh my, I can't believe I know that. Just the, the random things that just, I just know. Yeah, anyway, um, skip button is actually very, very cool. So a lot of things, okay. Also, yeah, so the cursor is actually different in the menu, obviously. And okay, so let's take a look at the, okay, actually. Hmm. So things that are new in the actual gameplay, like part of Osu is this timeline at the bottom. So it shows you the exact percentage of how far you are in the map. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the map. Okay, yeah. So the hit error graph. Oh, okay, so sliders. Sliders snake out, it's called. So that is also something you can turn off if it sort of throws you off, but that's not something that exists in the stable client. So, hmm. wait, why is the combo so high up? Oh, uh, you know what they say about the combo being too high up? is you press control O and look at this, you can change any option from anywhere in the game, even when you're paused, you cannot do that on stable. And okay, look at this, look at this, okay, skin. Oh, shoot, where is it? Okay, skin layout editor. Look at this, this, this combo is too high up. Oh, wait, shoot, I dragged the wrong thing. Wait, oh, wait, I can't select it. Wait, uh, revert. Um, okay, that's a bit strange. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to, <laughs> wait, I actually don't know how to drag it. Okay. Uh, wait, you can wait, you can have two. Wait. Oh my god. Okay. I actually have no idea how to move it. Oh <laughs> wait. Okay, that's a bit strange. Okay, wait, let me Okay, yep. Combo's too high, just drag it down. Let's go. And then you just drag this back. And that's okay, that, that's probably good enough. I think that's good enough. This is the actual health bar. Um okay, this is probably around here, I think. Um that's very interesting. I don't actually know. <laughs> um okay, also the hit or Okay, so I was messing with this earlier today, and I did not have this problem. That is very interesting. But 
Okay, I also want to drag the hit paragraph down, but it's it's not. <gasps> oh, wait. Okay, actually, wait. How do, can you like deselect this? Anchor. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with this. Origin. Oh my god. What? Oh 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 oh. oh okay okay. <gasps> oh my. God. Okay. Yep. Let's go. Bar is too high. Let's drag it down. Let's go. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you hold shift, so I know some like photo editing softwares and things like that don't like like you hold shift and it like makes straight lines. I don't know if you can actually do that in laser. Maybe you will be able to one day, but no, I just want to move the combo down. Ah, oh, man. All right. Okay. Wait, anchor. Oh, wait, I think if I just move this and then I can move this down. And if I right click this, origin. Wait, oh, I thought it would go back. Ah, oh, you know what? Okay. Whatever. This is good enough. This is good enough. Okay. Save. Save changes. Okay. And I can close and wow, just in simply incredible, amazing. <laughs> and that that's just how it's done. So yeah, you can see there's a progress bar on the bottom. There's a lot of customization that you can do. So by default, there's also a difficulty heat map, which actually, you know, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm 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 not finishing that run. Okay. Uh difficulty uh wait, actually what is it called? Okay, actually I have no idea what it's called. Um map. Oh no, I actually have no idea. I, I probably should have looked for this. Uh, okay, maybe it is called difficulty. Difficulty. Oh yeah, okay, difficulty graph. Okay, I, I should have seen that the first time. Okay, the difficulty graph. Uh, I'll just leave this on. I typically have it off because it is sort of noise at the bottom of the screen, but look at this. Insane. And it basically shows you where breaks are too. But yeah, this is something that's on by default. The key overlay is also on by default, but I have it off because um, it sort of, I couldn't figure out how to move it. I don't think you can move it. And it was sort of blocking the actual key overlay that I have, the custom one. Oh, speaking of which, uh, the hit error or the, or the unstable rate tracker that I typically use, uh, doesn't really work with OSIS laser. So unfortunately we have to put that to rest, but, oh, okay. So when I have the difficulty graph up, I think the numbers actually like are on top of the Things that I had moved down. Okay, let me, let me turn this off here. But oh, okay, this, this map's a classic, by the way. Okay, I, I'm just gonna play through the map. And uh, actually, I, I don't even know. I, hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, press for menu. This button is really cool. Except I can't, I can't press it apparently because it's a skip button. Okay, look, press for menu. I, insane. Okay, so actually, there's typically a pause delay in laser, but you can actually turn that off also. A pause. Oh, a menu. Oh shoot. Wait, where is it? Um, oh, okay, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, del del delay. Um, okay, but basically, th there's a way to pause the game instantly rather than having a short delay, which is what it is by default. Delay? Wait, I, I, I just typed delay. Wait, okay, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> but it, it is a setting that you can change, I'm sure, because I have it set to go to the menu instantly, because otherwise you would need to, like, wait a little bit. But. Uh, so, okay, let's actually play the map, okay? <laughs> so, okay, let's talk about laser scoring system. Okay, I think that that's probably pretty important and we will... Have a <gasps> Wait, no, okay, one more thing. Okay, you guys know, probably by now, is that stable does not have slider accuracy. Oh, okay, let me just demonstrate slider accuracy. So, if you hit a slider late, it will... You'll actually get a 100. I can't hit late, apparently, even if, even if I'm trying to. Okay, there we go, yeah. So, you hit a slider late and there's actually... Oh, okay, yeah, th this is 100. Okay, slider accuracy. And that is not a thing in OSU Stable, but it is a thing in OSU Laser. If you hate that, there's a mod for you. It is called the Classic Mod. And this enables a couple of the rule sets that exist in OSU Stable. But this basically is the OSU Stable rule set. If you just, oh, you just hate change, you hate OSU Laser, hate new things, you just want to play what you know and love, then, you know, if you want the classic note lock that just is not good <laughs> that is there for you okay but the, the real thing is yeah no slider head accuracy requirement that if you hate slider accuracy then that's there for you you know you don't you don't need to just suffer through like you know just sometimes you just gotta turn on the mod and that that is there for you but anyway okay so the question is is osu lasers scoring system score v2 and the answer is actually no but it is closer to score v2 than it is to score v1. Okay, also, okay, I'm just gonna play this whole map. I'm, I'm tired of putting out, I'm sure you guys are probably tired of me putting out too. <laughs> so the scoring system in laser is also out of 1 million, um, just, like, uh, just like score v2 is. 
Oh shoot, I was gonna get the score. Um, okay, yeah, but the score number. Um, so score V2, for example, would not already be at 90k. Um, I can tell you that much, especially if I just missed. I think I don't know the specifics of the scoring system for laser, and it might even change since um, this video comes out, but I do know that I'm pretty sure it's much more like well-rounded in terms of like actual performance. But Oh, this map is insane. Look at these sliders. Such a classic. This is the back song. <laughs> There's some like OC memes out there that use this song. And <laughs> okay, you know what? I, I don't even know. I can't think of any, so but basically it's just like Okay, the song is called Gaucho. It feels so awkward just explaining a meme, but basically the song is called Gaucho. And if if you get gauchoed, then you, okay, you already know. <laughs> you already know what that means. Is that the song starts playing, and uh, <laughs> I've I've no idea how to explain that. But if, okay, if you know, you know. You just, you, sometimes you just get gauchoed. But okay, throughout this, okay, so I mentioned this at the end of last episode also, but this Let's Play series is likely going to last 100 episodes, and seeing as we are now at the halfway point. This is the time for me to switch over to the Laser Client. I've been planning this for a while. I'm very, very excited to finally switch over to Laser and show you guys all the awesome, awesome features. I will end up talking about, you know, some improvement related OC stuff or general conceptual OC stuff and not just laser specific things. But um, I do want to spend uh, quite a few episodes just going through what exactly Laser has to offer, go through a bunch of the custom mods and things like that. Oh, the break section, by the way, actually shows you counter and also your current progress. This is something you can disable if you'd like. But And the the rank there means that's like your current rank on the map's leaderboard, which is not a thing yet, but uh, it will be when score submission comes out. But um, OK, f finishing my thought. So I yeah, so this series is probably going to go up to 100 episodes. Um, so I've been uploading these once a day. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed daily uploads. <laughs> but after the 100th episode, I'll probably make an indefinite hiatus to the series. I might make new episodes from time to time if I feel like there's a topic worth talking about. But 100 episodes is probably a solid stopping point. But okay, one thing I want to mention is oh shoot, wait, I, I actually don't remember. Shoot. <laughs> no, why does it always happen? Um Okay. Hmm. I I okay, I don't remember what I was gonna say. Anyway, no, never mind. <laughs> um okay, maybe I should actually what, what was I talking about? Oh no. Oh it's doomed. Okay, I, I was talking about Score V3. I can I can keep talking about it. Okay, no, I think I sort of finished that thought. Oh okay, okay, I, I remember. So reasons why laser is not currently the like original or the already the main client because as it stands you might think like oh OC laser it seems seems pretty you know seems pretty playable seems like it's in a pretty good spot oh wait, okay wait, wait, wait okay since, since we're at the end of the map okay look at the result screen look at this look at this oh my god it's so good the sound effects in laser so good although we now have the applause sound and the rest of the song playing over each other okay okay that's my applause sound for my skin but Click on it and look at this. This is all the information about the score you could ever possibly want. This is the, um, obviously you have your unstable rate and this is your basically hit error graph, your timing. Okay, it's called timing distribution throughout the entire map. So ideally it's all centered around zero. And this actually tells me that I probably want negative offsets or negative local offset. Actually local offset is not a thing yet in OC laser. It, it's one of the things that I think is actually, um, like one of the main things that I think is missing, but, um, yeah. Okay. And then obviously, okay. So this is really, really cool. Accuracy hit map, a heat map. And this shows you where on each circle you landed. And uh, there's obviously the dead center for reference. And this is just a pretty self-explanatory, I think, but not something that could be done in OC stable. There's a lot of just like little features like these that are like so cool and they just, wouldn't exist like wouldn't work properly in the current osu stable client i guess so or like the the code they, uh, okay I, I don't know i'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not i'm not admittedly not super informed on the exact terminology but um 
yeah oc laser very cool okay um but things that are missing for this client to officially be released and become the normal osu client that we all switch to <clears throat> the main thing is score submission score submission is not a thing so actually if you go to my profile this score here oh and also you can see so this is the leaderboard and it's actually um horizontal scrolling um so if you if i use my scroll wheel up and down wait i have a score on that way i actually forgot yo let's go go fancy Hidden hard rock baller. Oh shoot. Oh yeah. So extended stats you can only see after watching the replay. So actually, if I quit out and then go to my local ranking, which is right here. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't even matter. It, it was this one. Wait, no, it wasn't that one. It was this one that I just played. Yes. Okay. But if I click on it, then it's not going to show me the replay. But it does give me the option to watch it. Uh, speaking of watching replays. So when you watch replays, and this is something I will show you guys uh, exhaustively in a future episode. But there is a sc scrub bar at the bottom, and you can actually scroll through replays. You can also change the slow back, change the playback speed um, in more increments than just three. And again, the scrubbing is a little glitchy because if I jump all the way to the end, then it sort of tries to catch up. But um, it's very cool. You press escape, but yeah. So score submission needs to be finished. That's pretty much the main thing. I think like the biggest roadblock when it comes to score submission is trying to figure out what to do with all these old scores that were done with like an old rule set. Like you can see they all have the classic mod applied to them and trying to figure out exactly how they're going to be like converted because like there was no side of accuracy back then and now there is. So like is an SS from the stable client worth the same amount of points and like just a whole bunch of like, I don't know, it, it's messy, but um, that is one thing that needs to be resolved and a couple other, you know, optimizations about the client and Okay, well, one one big one because maybe you might be like, oh, you know, just just enable score submission and then just develop the client later. Um, but uh, anti cheat is something that is very important to implement before you start allowing people to submit scores. So there's also a sort of development roadmap that exists. Okay, honestly, if you want to follow along with the development process, because these devs actually work on the game like every single day, and they are like super, super involved in the community as well. There's like these community meetings that they host in the development server, which by the way, is fully public. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's discord.gg slash, oh no, I don't want to get it wrong. Discord.gg slash, is it? Okay, so discord.gg slash PPY. That is the little peppy acronym but that is the invite to the public Discord server uh, for development. So if you want to follow along with the process, do definitely check out that episode. Um, I just realized I've been recording for like 33 minutes. Okay, this is a very long, exhaustive, not actually that exhaustive, but um, nice introduction to the OSU laser client. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Yeah, there's basically there's a, a lot of things that still do need to be touched on for laser to become the official client, but there's a lot of promise in Osu Laser. Honestly, if you're watching this video soon after I released it, uh, invest in Osu. Okay, it's not actually a thing that you can do, but if you could invest in Osu, definitely invest in Osu because this, this client is actually so sick. But um, yeah, lots of really awesome, like dream, sort of like dream features that like people thought wouldn't actually exist, but would be cool to have. That stuff is all going to be possible with Osu Laser. So very, very excited to get into this client more, but um, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. And if you have suggestions for specific things you want to show me in the laser client, please do leave them in the comment section. If you have suggestions for future episodes, I do read all the comments on these episodes. And as I mentioned earlier, I do upload every single day. So be sure to subscribe if you have not already and check out my Twitch streams as well, where, um, as I also mentioned, I do live stream every single day. Uh, I don't say that for nothing. I'd be very, very happy to see you guys, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So with that, see you guys next time.